You better get out of here with all that crop. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, we're going to be doing the crop and resize effect in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be cropping photos, videos, or both. Let's get into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get to cropping and resizing. I have a clip of the timeline of some people having a wonderful water adventure. And if I scrub the timeline, you'll see, oh my goodness, the majesty, the beauty of the surrounding area of their majestic trip that they're taking. Okay, so this is beautiful and all of that. But for some reason, who knows why, I want the attention to be on the people in the boat, not the beautiful scenery around them. So that means I'm going to need to get to cropping. So I'm going to go to the clip in the timeline and I'm going to use my left mouse button and I'm going to click on that and you'll see an orange bounding box around it, which means that I have selected this clip. Now I'm going to come here underneath the preview window and I'm going to come to the crop mode button and I'm going to left click on that with my mouse. And now you see that there are some lines around the video. There are some dashes and then there are some solid bold lines. I'm going to place my cursor over the solid bold line until I see a line with two arrows at either end of it. And I'm going to hold down my left mouse and drag it to crop the image. I'm going to do the same thing here on the side. Drag this in. And I think that's pretty good. Now, I got all this black space around my image and I don't want all of this black space around my image. So now I need to resize it to fill in that space. So I'm going to come back here underneath the preview window. I'm going to place my cursor over the scale mode button and I'm going to left click that with my mouse. And now you'll see that these solid bars have changed to nodes. And now if I place my cursor over the node, I will have a line with two arrows and I can hold down my left mouse and I can drag it in or I could drag it out and it does not crop it. It just resizes it. So I'm going to resize this to fill in all of this black. And I'm good there. So you may notice that we have some loss of quality in this image. And the reason why is because I have a 1080p clip in a timeline and my timeline is set to 1080p. So if I have cropped this down in size and then I resize it to make it bigger, then we're gonna have a loss of quality, okay? Now, this could be rectified if you use a lower quality timeline resolution. So if I brought my timeline resolution down to 720p, then it would help with that. Or if I have a video clip that is a higher resolution, so if I use a 4K video clip on a 1080 timeline, I would not have any uh, degradation of my resolution. It would still be high quality. But in this case, as you can see, there's a little bit of loss in quality of the image. Not a lot, but enough where you can tell, and it is visible. If you need to move the video anywhere, you can place your cursor over the video until you see this little hand with the one finger sticking up. It's not the finger that you would probably expect. It's the pointer finger, okay? And you can hold down your left mouse and you can move it around if you need to. We don't really need to do that here, so I'm gonna put it back where it was. And you can also make it smaller. If you wanna do PIP, you can grab a node and drag it down and make it small instead of making it large. And let's say we put it somewhere in the window and we just throw another video underneath it in a timeline, then we have PIP here. So we can have something like that going on if you want to. It's really up to you what you want to do once you have it resized. 
So there you have it. Crop and resize. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Flashback502. Flashback502 makes how-to videos on his YouTube channel. So head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Flashback502 did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, go to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. Let people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.